Okay, I've had my ping pod for two or three days now. Um, just turned it on. Once again, the first little section of the boot process uh, when you're booting into Linux, uh, there's no splash screen, so it's sometimes hard to tell whether you have it on or off. Um, and in my last video, I was showing the default uh, Linux distro that comes on the uh, uh, SD card. I think it's called Linaro is the uh, distro, which is an Ubuntu base, which is based on Debian uh, distro. And um, I mean, it worked. It locked up on me in that video, or at least it seemed to. I have not had that issue in the last couple of days, so hopefully that, that doesn't happen again. Uh, but the interface was not the best for touch screens. Uh, so I decided to look into options for touch screen based distros that are designed for tablets. And one that came up was uh, Budhi, I think is how you say that, B-O-D-H-I. Uh, they use the Enlightenment desktop and um, they, when you first boot into that, they give you options, they have profiles for different devices, tablets being one of them. So this is uh, that. I did not actually get uh, the Budhai distro onto here, which they do They are, do provide an ARM-based uh, distro. Um, they have setups for images for uh, Raspberry Pi, Chromebooks, some Samsung devices, and I believe they, they're working on one for this device. Um, but uh, instead of you know, getting that image and putting it all on here. Uh, for right now, I just decided, since they're both Debian based, to see if I can just add the repositories and install some packages from the Budhai distribution. So, uh, I, I'll have a tutorial on what I did here coming up soon, and it works fairly well, except for one little glitch, uh, but I'll show you that. Um, uh, and uh, so, the glitch is sometimes it seems like the touch screen is detecting the mouse movements but not the mouse clicks. So um, let me get my OTG cable here and plug this in so that I can plug in an actual mouse. So I'll plug uh, this in like this and I'll get my mouse here and plug it in. So I'm plugging in an actual mouse and now you can see me clicking on the menus here. I can scroll over stuff and choose stuff. They also have this big uh, button down here that looks like a leaf right there, which you can click, which brings up a nice little uh, touch screen friendly uh, uh, menu of all your applications that you can scroll through. And um, as I said, sometimes, so right there, you can see me scrolling over the menus with my finger and I can choose something to open. So let's go up to Applications, Accessories, uh, actually I'm under Preferences, Accessories, uh, and we'll open up the File Manager. So right now, touching it with my finger seems to be working. Let me try going into a folder here. So you see right there, I'm not sure if this is, I think this should be set up for single click, but you can see it kind of is acting like mouse over. And I'll give you a better example of that. Uh, let me go. Also, one of the reasons I went with this interface is they have a very nice keyboard. If I can get it to come up here. Oh, click on the wrong icon. There we go. So very nice keyboard with different settings. Uh, so it basically has every keys, all the keys you would need for working in a terminal and different little themes for it just by clicking on that button up there. So once I get past this little touch screen issue, um, this should work very nice. Let me go to my home screen here by clicking this little house. It looks like an arrow, but that's a house, I believe, for home. Uh, and let me choose something like uh, GCalc should be in here somewhere. I was working at the other day because that's a good example. Oh, right there. So here's a calculator application, and hopefully you can see this in the video. As I move the mouse over, you can see the buttons highlighting, and then I can click on one, and you can see when I click it, it gets darker. Now, right now the touch screen is working properly. You can see me typing numbers. I can say plus this. So it's hit and miss. I'm really not sure what the issue is. Once again, I can go here to the menu. Okay, so now it's happening. If you can see the icon menu up here, you can tell that the mouse is over. And if I try clicking on stuff, no longer can I click on the buttons. 
but you can see that it's detecting where I'm putting my finger because it's highlighting those buttons. So it seems to be an issue uh, with knowing where the mouse is but not recognizing my touches as clicks. And I've tried double clicking. Yeah, that doesn't work. And as you saw a second ago, it was working. So that's really my only problem. Once I figure out a solution to that, I will be doing a tutorial on getting this all set up because this is a much nicer interface than the default one on the PingPod. Um, so hopefully uh, the developers of the PingPod go in a direction like this much better than the keyboard uh, on the other one, the little keyboard that they have here provided. It's much more like you would see on an Android or iPhone device, a, a nice touch uh, screen, on-screen keyboard. Um, so that's it. That's a quick look at this. Once again, this is just using the Enlightenment uh, desktop interface with uh, some profiles made by uh, the uh, Budhai um, distro. Um, and I really hope to have a lot more on this if I can figure out this uh, touchscreen issue. And I actually think that might have been the issue I was having the other day when I thought the device had locked up on me. Because I was trying to click on stuff and it didn't seem to be clicking on stuff. So definitely going to try to figure this out and I'll have more updates on that. Very happy once I figure get past this little uh, touchscreen issue. Um, I'll be, I think I'll be very happy with this device. Uh, I'll also be doing tutorials on, you know, making your browser so that you can drag with your finger uh, rather than having to reach over the scroll bar there. So keep on watching uh, my series on this uh, pen, uh, pen pod device.